70 years ago, French Minister Robert Schuman presented his project of peace, unity and solidarity for European nations, which would lead to the creation of the European Union. We need to protect our peace project. We need to continue to overcome our differences. This message should inspire us all in all our actions today and tomorrow. I express my solidarity with the government and the people of Sierra Leone as together we continue to tackle the coronavirus pandemic. The EU is sparing no efforts to make sure all possible resources are mobilized to respond to this crisis. We will not stop caring for and supporting the people of Sierra Leone. Today, I also want us to thank the often unseen heroes who are on the front line. They are the medical teams and healthcare workers of Sierra Leone. So many of us care passionately about our country. We must act for the greater good of Sierra Leone. This is no time to divide. Lives are at stake. This is a time to act responsibly together. We should be able to feel we can lean on each other, regardless of borders, nationality, religion and language. There's no time or energy for anything else. So let's regroup in love and kindness to all races, genders, and ages. The only way forward is to work together to beat COVID-19. Let us show that we collectively care about our country and let us protect the most vulnerable in these dangerous times. I'm using this opportunity to say thank you to all health workers in Sierra Leone. You are indeed making incredible contributions and sacrifices to respond at this critical time of need. Hospital and they will need help. Health center and they will need equipment. So whoever able for the next sensing and they will also contribute to the fight greatly. We need to test, test and test. For some of us that are mothers, you can't even get close to your baby as much as you want to. So I can't wait for this pandemic to end. We are stronger together, all united against the coronavirus. 